Welcome to Breakfast in Barbados. And again, we have with us Chef Nikita. We're going to just sip on our Cafe Brazil. <laughs> Excellent coffee, isn't it? Yeah. I'm good. And I'm a coffee person. Uh, me too. I love coffee. Okay, Chef Nikita, what are we going to be doing this week? This week, I'm going to do an omelette. Um, but with this omelette, we're going to be using um, the drumettes from Farmer's Choice. It's mm -hmm. a new um, product that they have. Relatively interesting and very, very appealing. And I'm also going to be using the Kobe cheese in there with some tomatoes and some onions. So we're going to saute that first and add it into the omelette, well, the egg mix, and then actually make the omelette from that. And then I'm going to also do a bacon wrapped uh, planting, but not pork. This okay. is turkey bacon. Okay. Um, Keeping it healthy, healthy this week? It's okay. lean. So yeah, we, we're going to have a relatively low cholesterol, a little healthy week, but still very delicious. Okay, we look forward to tasting yes. at the end. Thank you very much, Chef Nikita. Thank you. Breakfast in Barbados. Hi, do you want to win $500 just in time for Christmas? Well, watch Money Matters TV show every Thursday at 802 on CBC TV 8, repeated on Sundays at 4 p.m. All you have to do is watch for the question of the day and text the word money plus the answer to short code 2216 for your chance to win. Text as many times as you like, whether you're with Flow or Digicel. Happy texting and good luck. Eggs are the most affordable source of protein around. They contain choline to help with your memory, as well as vitamin A, B, D, and K. Eggs promote healthy hair and nails because of their high sulfur content and wide array of vitamins and minerals. Star Chick eggs are very, very tasty. Be wise and follow the star, I say. Eat Star Chick eggs each and every day. Star Chick. Caribbean Cooking Channel on MCTV, Channel 117. MIS Spices have been flavoring the pots of Barbadians for over 25 years. Available island-wide at all eating supermarkets, MIS Spices come in a wide variety of flavors, like black pepper, Cajun spice, bacon bits, crushed chili flakes, coriander powder, cumin powder, curry powder, basil leaves, celery salt, and blackened spice. Celebrity chefs and mixologists use MIS spices to enhance the flavor of their creations. MIS products, making it special for you, for you, for you, for you. Breakfast in Barbados. Welcome back to Breakfast in Barbados, right here at the beautiful Santosha East Coast in St. Andrew. And as I promised you, I have Richie Wiggins from Flawless Performance Center, and we're going to be talking health, and we're also going to be talking beauty today on Breakfast in Barbados. So, Richie. Yes. Because we're called Breakfast in Barbados, let's talk about... Breakfast. Breakfast, and how we can make that um, a part of our healthy living. Well, first of all, to be productive improve your performance um, breakfast is as it suggests you're breaking the fast mm -hmm. of rest before even though you sleep your body is partially functioning at a lower state so in other words all of you is not sleeping okay it's, it's working at a you know what would we call a higher performance level where certain systems are shut down mm -hmm. certain systems are still working and that would have been drawing off fuel reserves from the day to evening and you go through a period without food. So breakfast, as it has been coined, you're supposed to break that fast. Mm -hmm. So when you wake on mornings, 
within the first 45 minutes to hour, you should consume something. Really? Yes, because then you're drawing on reserves that were long spent. So imagine your vehicle's um, warning light has come on for fuel. Wow. And you're driving and hoping, cross your fingers, that you don't cut out. <laughs> we're at Santosh in, in St. Andrew and you're trying to get to Warren's. You might break down before you even get to um, oh Horse Hill. So oh my goodness. My point is breakfast gives you the fuel to continue being alert, productive, energized, uh, using some of the things we mentioned today with Nikita. Um, eggs are a good protein source. Mm -hmm. um, you have a healthy choice of the turkey bacon. That's a leaner meat. Uh, planting gives you a nice sweety fruity infusion in there as well. You sound like a chef, Richard. Uh, yeah, I do a little <laughs> something, you know. Uh, you know, I have a little <laughs> skill. <laughs> yeah, so the, the key is breaking the fast is essential mm -hmm. to make your day productive. That's one way of looking at it. If you find like you you start to tire around midday, it could be because you're not implementing breakfast. Okay. It can also curtail your weight loss goals if you don't use breakfast. Okay, we really need to break this down because <laughs> From the time you said within the first 45 minutes to an hour, yes. you should. Yes, you should. It's not always possible because um, for me, sometimes I work very early. Mm -hmm. And I will tell you, mm -hmm. if I'm starting at 6 in the morning, most on a good day, mm -hmm. I'll get to eat by 8, 30, 9 Now, o knowing yourself in terms of body type, mm -hmm. um, they're categorized in three ways. So I'm an ectomorph. Um, some people can be miso or endo. These have different responses to foods, exercise. Um, like for instance, my wife, she is a miso. Mm -hmm. She can get up and go and on one meal and doesn't even feel the hunger. Me, I die if we don't eat breakfast. <laughs> so getting up for the four o'clock hour, five o'clock hour, if then that kind of indiv individual, I can eat on the fly as soon as my eyes open. But okay. if you're a per your body type is one that can endure a little bit, and you don't necessarily get alert. So let's say to get to work for six, you mm -hmm. have to get up at 4.30. Mm -hmm. You have a half an hour traverse. Your body has not woken up yet. You're still okay. using brain power to get going. Mm -hmm. Then you can have a situation where you use something light that doesn't disturb your, your focus. Your body can still absorb it. And then you right. get enough nutrients to carry through that you can get a break mm -hmm. in between your, your work shift. Um, like a hot drink? You can start with that. That That's me. Like so the first couple of hours, I must have my coffee. So Cafe Brazil really works for me. Okay. I need to have my coffee. That's an option. You can also use green tea. Um, okay. I would suggest limiting the sugar because it kills the thermogenic properties. And when mm. I say thermogenic in terms of the energy spike and the weight loss factor. Okay. That can carry you a little bit until you get to that break right. period. And then it would still be within the 45 to 1 hour time period. So. Okay. There's some mornings where I work earlier and later, so the mornings I might have to get up at four. Between shower, I set tea, take that, go out the door, and then I take a snack two hours later. But the tea gives me enough to get through that cycle. Okay. So in other words, you, you space your nutrition to get that spike of energy carrying through the day like a helping hand. Mm -hmm. So breaking the fast is not only in solid form, it could be in liquid form. Uh, Cafe Brazil could be mm -hmm. an input of that. Definitely me. So yeah, that Let's talk has about properties as well. Now you're talking about breaking the fast. We do understand the importance of breakfast, but yes. let's face it. A lot of us, especially in the Caribbean, we just get up and roll and we just go. And the next thing you know, it's 11 o'clock or OK, let's start a little earlier. It's nine o'clock. And the first thing we're going to grab is a piece of bread or maybe a donut or mm -hmm. something like that. And then the next thing we're gonna do is grab lunch, which is usually cheesy and meaty and full of gravy. Give me some items that we would probably have in our homes that would be a good source of breakfast, at least to help us out. Or I could use I my, like peanut butter. my personal experience. I, in my days of competitive bodybuilding, mm -hmm. I consume a lot of egg whites. Okay. Um, and the thing, the, the, the thinking was in those times that you took away the yolks to cut the cholesterol, but okay. the yolk also has properties that help you digest the white. Okay. So in my ignorance in those earlier days, I developed an egg white allergy. Oh, so no because you consume too much? Yes. So my okay. breakfast now is like, what I do? I can't eat. So, but in other words, through that adversity, I had some discovery. So now you have a lot of things like cassava that you can use. So um, I have this thing I do where I grate a fresh cassava and coconut and I combine it 
as dry as I could get it, mm -hmm. make some craisins with it. And I saute that with butter mm -hmm. on both sides. And that gives me a healthy away from bread because I also develop an allergic reaction to bread to where the gluten intolerance. So this gives you now an idea of how you cannot have a bread meal, still have a meal that gives you that feeling mm. of what Being flour. Full. Yes. Yeah, now the cassava, because it's 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 lower on the glycemic index, meaning the absorption rate is slower. Mm -hmm. It gives you the ability to have a fuel reserve that you can draw on. So you eat that, with and you still can have fuel carried on for the next three or four hours, and it's still light. It's still quick. So, but Richie, Richie, Richie. Listen, no, no, let's make it Richie. simple. Let's make it simple. Exactly, because I'm not going to get cassava. up at four thirty in the morning and grate a cassava and all kind of things. You don't have to do that. that. I have that in my that's house. what I do. But <laughs> they're prepackaged grated cassava that you can just quickly defrost in the microwave. Okay. Throw that together. Sounding better. And in ten minutes, you have it done. Or you can do them the night before and warm them again to go. Mm -hmm. Like I said, this is something that can be done in fifteen minutes. Mm -hmm. No, I. I'm also going to admit on TV <laughs> that if I have to go anywhere, especially early in the mornings, I don't get it two hours before. I give my time a one hour time frame. Sometimes it's a half an hour. Mm -hmm. So imagine I do that and still get out the door to make where I'm going. So what I'm saying is there are prepackaged grated coconut. There's prepackaged grated cassava. That's a mix you can do together. Mm -hmm. The thing about it, like I spoke about the index, you put a little sugar, a little molasses in that, and then you get the energy spewing. You, the black strap molasses is very good for the calcium mm -hmm. as well. I just eat it with half a spoon. That's yeah, it. you know, a tablespoon of that every now and again. You've got to indulge in these yeah, things. I do, because I do. I, I your body it. needs these things. So my point is there are options. Mm -hmm. There are healthier options to everything or every possible thing that you could come up with that won't make you stick to your diet. Okay. I won't make you stick to a healthy regime. We choose bread because it's available. It's very convenient. It is also it sublimely great. imprinted in our head to buy bread. Every My father has was a baker. Shop. Let me just say that right now. <laughs> I was dusted in flour from a child, so I have a thing about bread. But anyhow, I do understand what you yes. mean. <laughs> so my point is basically you could try to limit the amount of bread because the other okay. thing is if you're consuming more than one bread meal a day, then you're way in excess of how much bread you should mm. intake. I, so. I take your point. So yeah. basically, would you say planning? If you if you want to eat a healthy breakfast, yes. would you say planning is the key to doing it? Like thinking about what you're going to have for the week or thinking about what you're going to have the night before? Having some form of structure. Um, we learned this thing very young in cadets called um, the, the three P's. is prayer, planning, and preparation prevents nice. a P-poor performance, right? Mm -hmm. So... It takes a moment in quiet time and say, look, when I go to the supermarket by X, Y, Z, to facilitate me achieving this, mm -hmm. then I would have to make these purchases even while I watch TV, mm -hmm. do the greater, get a processing blender or something that can do it. Pre-package them in Ziploc packets that you can do quick dumping, mixing, mm -hmm. throw in. That's one form of planning. The other form of planning is um, you can probably choose fruits. Some people respond differently to that because some people get an insulin spike and then a sugar crash. Other people does not, don't have that sorry, okay. response. So some days I use fruit, an apple and a banana in a row. Mm -hmm. and the other that thing, work for me. You, can, you can do little um, packets or like I said, Ziploc bags of your own trail mix where you use two nuts, one of your favorite nuts that mm -hmm. may be fat here because mm -hmm. you still need the fats, mm -hmm. and then one of the linear healthier ones like almonds. Mm -hmm. And then to add a bit of sweet in there, you can use raisins or craisins, depending on you, or take the fruit all, 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 all together. Okay. Um, that's a fistful. The thing is, nutrients does not have to be in these big proportions. You just need little snippets. Right? So, mm -hmm. in, in other words, performance cars in a rally race don't necessarily have huge fuel tanks. You and these analogies, though. I I mean, because they're tangible analogies. things that we can identify with. Uh -huh. So, they're pit stops. So, if you use your nutrition like fuel, into a performance car mm -hmm. in small amounts, then you can perform all day long. Okay. The problem is that we leave too many gaps between when we eat, but we're still trying to focus at very minimal abilities. Okay. If we dedicate some of our time and discipline, which is a key word, to achieving these goals, we will be more focused because now you're not worried about hunger. Your brain can then focus in on the task at hand because it's being fed then your sleep is not as restless because your body is being nourished. 
Wow, so this affects basically the whole person. Everything all is affected. Day, every day. We are walking on malnourished. It doesn't mean that we look like a Somalian kid. We, mm -hmm. we can be 250 pounds, 6 foot 2, and still be malnourished. Right. Because the food you're we're eating, eating too much of the wrong things, exactly. basically. And we create a toxic environment where we're polluting our insides. So, in other words, you also have to look at your response to food. Now, you and I are in a relationship, let's say hypothetically, that's not a real life scenario. Mm -hmm. And your input into that relationship and my input brings a certain mood stimulus. Food does the same thing. Mm. Now, if I do something that offends you, your mood changes. <laughs> Now, you might eat a food that you think might make you feel good, but at the end, you start to burp a lot, you feel gassed, you feel bloated, or you feel sluggish. That's not a response you want. So you mm -hmm. know that that is information to act on to get rid of that and try something wow. else. I like that. Right. Clever analogies, I must say. Simple Your ways. relationship, you can, ha yes. you can actually eat foods because you're supposed to have a positive relationship with food. Yes. If you eat the wrong things, then that food is going to offend you. So you need to sort it out, basically. Right. I like it. All right. We'll be back with Richie right after this. Breakfast in Barbados. Cut, cut, cut. Chop, chop, chop. Shake, shake, shake. Great, great, great. Only Maggie Season Up gives you the right rhythm to season your fish and fresh veggies in perfect harmony so that you hit the right note from the very start. Many years ago, on an island surrounded by sea, Warriors and kings ruled this sacred land. Once upon a time, in Ichi After the death of the cave master, a student of the cave temple is banished and is left alone to survive in the master gully. Master is dead, gone. We must avenge his death. Yes. Jimmy Yang must pay. Ah! But this time, Yed is not alone and ready for an ambush and the battle of his life. An action-packed story of betrayal, a manhunt, a battle among devils, and forbidden love. I love you, Shenzhen. What is this? Silent! L and Bear. L and Bear. L and Bear. L and Veer. How do you L and Veer? Take a moment to L and Veer with your options of Yago, fruits, and 0% fat yogurts made from real milk using real fruits. Distributed by Supreme Distributors. Breakfast in Barbados. Welcome back to Breakfast in Barbados. I have Richie with me from Flawless Performance Center. So you were telling me a little bit about how you started and I want you also to tell us a little bit about Flawless before we get into why physical health is so important and little things. I want you to also tell me little things that we can do in a very busy society. So that's a mouthful, go. Yes. <laughs> so like I said, my start was just to grow some muscles mm -hmm. to deal with the realities of school and through that, Several experiences came about. Um, we had a little fun at the beach one time and I injured my lower back. And I discovered I had a slip disc, uh, basically a postural protrusion of the lower disc mm -hmm. in the lumbar spine. And it was impeding from my nerves. It made me collapse in the shower, things like that. Wow. So as a young man, I was like, I, my life done? What happened in here? Did an MRI, discover what it was, and surgery was out the option because I didn't have a hundred thousand dollars at the time to, I could to see pay that. for that. There's no starting out in life. So it then made me look at what I was doing in physical activity differently. And at, at that time, I started with the World Gym in 1999. Mm -hmm. um, I remember that. <laughs> which, 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 funny enough, it was a stone, is or was a stone throw away from where we are now. Yes. And, and tell everybody where you are now. We are in Sky Mall, right. upstairs. When you come out to Massey stores, you can look up and see us there. Our entry. Beautiful, by the way. Yes, I just love how you. it's laid out. I love how it looks. It looks very modern, art deco. Nice. Yes. Mm -hmm. Our entry is just off the main when you walk in. Uh, by the makeup kiosk, you'll see our door turned mm -hmm. upstairs there. So like I was saying, that environment in the road gym taught me a lot. We did a lot of uh, functional courses on movement. And I realized the way in which we practice exercise 
was not how we were designed by God to be. We, we are designed to be work beings. Mm -hmm. But we've done everything in our life to make life easier and switch that work being off. So we are in, almost in a state of forgetfulness. Okay. So it was impressed upon me to change the way in which I practice physical activity because I was forced to by way of injury. So I learned different processes through experience, my own tangible experience on how to improve my performance, get my physical fitness goals, mm -hmm. and not make my situation worse. Actually, it improved me. I gave, became supernatural in some areas mm -hmm. with this injury. And okay. you would not believe that. That I'd you had this injury. Exactly. Cause cause anything to do with your back, because I know I get a little lower back. It takes pain. away from, it's amazing. And it can, that it can, can literally lay you out exactly. for, for days on end. Correct. Okay. And one of the things, Critical to this was focus on core strength. Okay. And when I say core strength, literally, as your word suggests, your center mass, your internal network of stability mm -hmm. needs to be focused. We focus on the superficial stuff, meaning the six pack or. Okay, there's nothing um, superficial about a six pack, bro. Deeper than that, when you peel that stuff away, there's, mm -hmm. there's, there are other supporting systems that need to be addressed. And that is a key thing in protecting the lower back. Okay. It's also the, the, the platform of where all movement originates from. Okay. So looking at that and digesting that was a major factor. The other factor was the limited skills that we got in our personal training certification, for me, felt short for what we should have been giving clients. So I always felt it was not enough, and I just kept searching until I found a better way. So in other words, I believe I now have the tools necessary that if I encounter you, I can better get you to your level of greater performance through assessment and through assessing your functional movement. And by that I mean the way in which you were designed to move okay. has an impact upon weight loss, getting a dress, dancing, whatever you want to achieve. Okay. If you do not move functionally as by your primal design by God, then you do not have the ability to do anything. Okay. So. Yes. For those who can't go to the gym, won't go to the gym, yes. say they don't have the time, or maybe, as you said, financially, give us a couple things that we can do at home or in the neighborhood or just, just to get moving. Well, the first thing is you have to understand alignment. Um, look at your feet. When you plant your feet firmly to do exercise, let's say it's a squat, make sure your knee of that foot aligns over the second and third toe or in the direction the toes are pointing. Second or third toe? Wait a minute, I'm going to... So you have your big toe. You Wait a minute. This one. So which one? Touch it, touch it. Which one? This little one right here is uh -huh. the toe you focus on so you go to that one right there. Okay, right. Second or third toe. There you go, see? Or just generally, if that's too technical, wherever your toes go, your knee should go. Okay. Make sure your hips go to the rear of you and descend in that fashion. Keep your shoulders over your knees. Simple. Any squat type action, that is how you can do it. Mm -hmm. If you've never done a squat before, do it off the edge of your bed. Mm -hmm. That way you have a safety mechanism. So you sit back. Touch it. Just try to get the legs engaged more rather than fall. Mm -hmm. You can do it off a chair. Mm -hmm. Sit and stand. Um, you can start a lunge by just splitting your stance, by stepping into it and holding it. As soon as your legs are engaged, come back a little bit. Rather than trying to kneel all the way all to the, the way ground. Down. That's for the pros, by the way. Right? Mm -hmm. The other component of that is you start to bring the core in. You can go to the floor in a four-point stance on the hands and knees. And you're actually kneeling on and then go onto your forearms. Mm -hmm. You just want to get in a position where your legs are straight enough that you can tilt your pelvis to the floor. So a pelvic roll, pubic bone goes to the floor. Mm -hmm. Tighten your tummy by drawing your navel and squeezing your abs and hold that position. You don't have to do a full plank. Anybody of any size can do that. Okay. Then you can progress to taking one knee off, mm -hmm. putting it down, going to the other side. And then something as simple as laying on your back with your knees bent, feet flat, hands faced up, resting on the floor, head rest. Tilt the pelvis to the ceiling, tighten the tummy and okay. hold that for seconds as you breathe. And simple exercises. Simple exercises. All right. Well, thank you very much, Richie. Thanks You're for welcome. joining us here. Breakfast in Barbados. Breakfast in Barbados. MIS spices have been flavoring the pots of Barbadians for over 25 years. Available island wide at all eating supermarkets, MIS spices come in a wide variety of flavors, like black pepper. 
Cajun spice, bacon bits, crushed chili flakes, coriander powder, cumin powder, curry powder, basil leaves, celery salt, and blackened spice. Celebrity chefs and mixologists use MIS spices to enhance the flavor of their creations. MIS products, making it special for you, for you, for you. Hi, do you want to win $500 just in time for Christmas? Well, watch Money Matters TV show every Thursday at 8.02 on CBC TV 8, repeated on Sundays at 4 p.m. All you have to do is watch for the question of the day and text the word money plus the answer to short code 2216 for your chance to win. Text as many times as you like, whether you're with Flow or Digicel. Happy texting and good luck. back with Chef Nikita. So tell us what you prepared for us this morning. Like I said earlier, what I did was the omelette. Um, sorry, it is an omelette. I used the drumettes from Farmer's Choice. To put inside the omelette? Yeah, so okay. I saute them first with some onions, some sweet, uh, not sweet peppers, sorry. Some tomatoes, what mm -hmm. else is in there? Yeah, some onions is in there, some chives. And then I seasoned it with a little bit of seasoned salt from MIS. Okay. And then I also took a plantain and I wrapped around the plantain, the turkey bacon, also from Farmer's Choice. Um, so I'll take that, um, give a nice color. So I'm just going to slice it so you're going to see bacon. Oh, that looks really side. interesting. I love the idea of the plantain. <laughs> the plantain, the yeah. And then I um, took some fresh tomatoes and did a basil and sesame tomato. Mm. <laughs> what I did, just cut a tomato in half, sprinkle a little bit of basil oil on it. Um, some sesame, some garlic, and some, uh, yeah, fresh basil. And Sounds good. And Sounds then you just good. saute it in a very, very hot pan. I actually use the same pan that I cooked the, the I'm going to call it turkey plantain. <laughs> <laughs> the turkey plantain in. And yeah, that was it. Plant turk. Or and turkey. we're going to finish. <laughs> yeah, turk plant, plant turk. Um, turkey plantain. <laughs> turkey plantain, yes. And we're going to finish it with some Kobe cheese. It's very light and okay. delicate cheese. It has a lot of sweet. Um, kind of taste right and your cheese is optional you can melt it or you can actually have mm -hmm. it in the omelette okay um, but some people you know have mixed views on cheese in terms of health um, so we will finish with that but that's it no that looks really good yeah you gotta try now okay time to taste so I'm having a little bit of this plant, and I want to get a little bit of just about everything. Mm -hmm. This tomato looks so it does. good. All right, I may not have enough room, so I'm going to have to save. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Yes. That is really good. Thank you. Really, really good. <laughs> Well, thank you so much, Chef Nikita, and that's it for You're Breakfast welcome. in Barbados. Thank you. You're welcome. Morning's here.